Hello everybody and welcome back. It has been a while. I think it's been like three weeks since I've posted a video. I've been super busy in work and yeah, personal life and stuff. So yeah, so let's make a video. So as you can tell by this title, this is going to be a puppy haul. So if you guys have watched my videos recently, this last couple of weeks or so, you will have known that my dog Ruby had puppies. She had them on, I think it was the 12th of, no, the 9th of December, she was due on the 12th. She had them on the 9th of December and they're the cutest little things ever. So, um, I actually am keeping one of the puppies, so I am, and I will introduce her to you in a little minute. But I wanted to show you the things that I bought for her. So anyway, let's begin. First thing I, to get out of the way is the big thing. And it is a little puppy bed. Well, it's not a puppy bed, it's actually a fully grown bed. And Ruby does fit on this because Ruby has been in lying on this bed and yeah. So it's a little bit like threaded, I don't know if you can see, like here, it's a little bit like threaded up because of their little sharp claws. I, uh, the puppy does lie on, on the bed. I have a couple of pictures here to show you of all the puppies and then the puppy that we're keeping on the bed, so here they are. Moving on to toys, I remember when we got Ruby that these were her two favourite toys out of all the toys that we got her. And it is these two here. The first one is the little soft ball. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit torn up, a little bit, a little bit torn up because she has been playing with us. Um, she's six weeks old today, she has been playing with us, so this, she does like this. The other toy that Ruby really, really liked when she was a puppy was one of these. So I went and picked up one of these again. And it is different. It's like um, a rubber material and it's different textured. So it has the little spiky ends, it has the swirly end, and it does have two little holes here that I think that you can put treats in. I'm not exactly sure. And yeah, I know you can get like the squirty treat thing for them to stick their tongues in and stuff, but I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not actually putting treats in this. <clears throat> not actually gonna put treats in this. This is just for her to chew up and play with. Now, she does have two favorite toys that um, she's picked out of everything. And the first one is this little bear. And guys, can you see that she started to tear it apart? She loves this. This is her favorite favorite one of her favorites she has one more favorite too but this is her absolute favorite toy of them all and the other toy is actually this and this is the bull i think it's a bull because it has the little horns on it and i don't know if female cows do have horns or not i don't think they do but um yeah it is just this soft toy it's fizzly it has rope material for her to chew on and i think you're meant to pull pull you know the way you do like tug of war with dogs um i don't do that with my dogs because no i just don't do that with my dogs um but anyway it's soft it's crunchy material it has different textures it has like different textures here fluffy textures and this is one of her favorites you can tell because it is filthy because she's just been chewing the life out of it so yeah she loves the mukai um, I remember when Ruby was a puppy that we didn't have one of these actual as a dog toy. We had one, it was like a children's toy and this is what we, she loved and this is what she had. But it was actually a little ring and this is the top toy ring. Um, now the puppy hasn't really shown that much interest in it yet but she is only little she's only six weeks old so um yeah so this is the toy that i chose it's yellow it's rubber it's really like durable feeling it doesn't feel like it would break easily and yeah i think she'll love it whenever she's a little bit bigger <clears throat> um another toy i found because i know that when they're puppies they love to chew on things so i got this like rubbery ball bouncy thing it's meant to hold like a treat inside so they can like chase it around to get the treat out but let's face it i'm not going to put a treat in here because it's for her to play with it's for her to chew on and play with 
I, if I'm going to give her a treat, I'm going to give her a treat myself. So she doesn't really have to, like, work for it. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the little ball thing. She does actually like that she's explored this a little bit. Um, she is quite timid when uh, she first comes into the house, but then she she's fine after a while. The last toy, I think, is the best toy. <clears throat> now, you can probably see it a little bit. I'm sure you can guess what it is. Um, I bought this two days after Christmas. It was down from £15 to £6.99. So it is this reindeer and would you look at it. It has all the different textures. It's, I think, like toughened material. All the seams feel quite sturdy. It does have a squeaker in it. I'm not actually a fan, and none of my family are a fan, of giving our dogs toys with squeakers in it. But yeah, you have to sort of really dig for it. <clears throat> so. She likes this toy, she loves this toy. She loves pulling it by the legs. So she does, I think she thinks it's like her kill and that she's trying to bring it to me. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, this is Rudolph. She loves it. Um, now, I don't know if you guys know already, I do already have two other dogs, so she will be my third dog. So I do have the basics. I have the the pen for her to sleep in. They are, <clears throat> they are outside dogs, but it is heated outside and they do get out so it's not like they stay in a cage all the time and then there's always constantly water there's drainage and everything like that so it's clean and um, they're cleaned out multiple times a day so you don't need to worry about that um but i do have the basics i have like the water bowls and the food bowls and all and i have like the puppy food and the dog food and everything so i have all that already so I don't really need to show you that because it's in the garage. Sorry, it's in the shed outside and I don't want to go outside because it's cold and I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's all the toys and stuff. I do have a couple of other wee things to show you. Now because they are outside dogs and because she's in a group of puppies that haven't quite got bladder control yet, sorry, that haven't got potty trained yet, they're peeing everywhere. They pee in like their little bed and sometimes I don't catch it as quick as I'd like to. And like at night when I'm in bed, they pee. So they sleep on the pee, unfortunately. But they do get cleaned out very regularly, I wanna say that. Um, I use paper, paper shreddings for them because um, we did use saw wood chippings so at first. But then we read up that it was bad and it could cause bronchiolitis bronchiolitis so we didn't want that to happen so anyway and um, what I've been using because they haven't actually been bathed yet but they're being bathed I think tomorrow we're going to bath them but um this is like a puppy fresh to gently deodorize and refresh your dog now I hate this smell it stinks but I think it's because maybe I doused the bed her bed bed in it a little bit and I spread a little bit too much but it doesn't smell that bad just use it sparingly but yeah so this is what I've bought here <clears throat> okay so that is everything there for her like all her toys and bed bed and stuff for the house but I did actually buy her some treats but it's not just for her as as I've said, I have two other dogs, so it's for them as well. And Ruby, the mummy dog, absolutely loves these. So, um, this is the Pedigree Tasty Bites, and this is Cheesy Nibbles. So I got these. These were all for $1.99 after Christmas, so I got these. I got the Tasty Bites Crunchy Pockets. I got the Tasty Bite Chewy tubes, and this is in chicken. This is Ruby's favorite, she loves these. And then chewy tubes in chicken again, as I said, Ruby loves these. And then I got some chewy slices with beef. So I already have like a tin full of treats anyway, so that's why they're not open and in the tin, but yeah, so that's that. And now, basically, that's everything that I've bought for the puppy. And now, I'm going to introduce you to my little baby. I just have to go and get her. Okay, so this is my baby. Here she is. 
Hi, Puppy. <laughs> this is Holly. Say hi, Holly. Hi. Hi, Puppy. Hi there. There she is. Isn't she gorgeous? She's my baby. This is Holly Quinn. Oh, come on, baby. She's six weeks old. And she is my lovely little baby who loves to chew on ears. And we're trying to get her to stop doing that. But yeah, she is six weeks old. She's beautiful. And I absolutely love her to pieces. And there's the phone. Hold on, let me answer it. Sorry, I was on the phone there. Uh, I had a phone call. So, this is Holly, six weeks old today. And she's an absolute beauty. Um, yeah, she's gorgeous. I love her.